Hey guys, what's up? It is Taylor here, and today I'm going to be doing a different type of video. I'm going to be going on vacation. I'm going up to York, Maine, which I do mostly every summer. So we're going to be going to the beach, and I'm going to try and go to York's Wild Kingdom, and just check out some animal places around there and see what they have. I'm also going to be trying um, and do some crabbing and show you guys some of the wildlife there. I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. Okay guys, so we just arrived in Maine. I'm down in my little room. So pretty much I just come here um, most summers, like for the 4th of July and stuff. Um, we stay in this house. My dad used to come here with his parents and they're like friends with like the owner and stuff. So we always come and stay at their house. And so yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be separated into different vlogs, but um, yeah. I'm in New York currently. Downtown they have like a bunch of like stores and stuff so maybe we'll go and do that. I know one of them actually has like hermit crabs and stuff where you can get in those little tin cages with the painted shells. And I'll be linking some videos down below um, so you guys can check those out because I'm not a full hermit crab enthusiast so. So we have to be true. I don't really feel much because it is high time and so the water is just really high right now and so I can't really go out like I went crabbing stuff but I didn't film it and we actually found like one crab and that was it so I think I'm gonna come back to the beach later and do a bit of crabbing and show you guys some of the species that are invasive or non-invasive or just kind of whatever we find um, earlier I found a Little sea urchin, which is pretty cool. It's like a little baby. I'm still wearing my sweater. I took it off and I was in my bikini for a while, but I'm absolutely freezing. You know, um, perks to eat. So. <laughs> still at the beach but I'm just like really tired I didn't go to bed till like two o'clock last night or this morning um, and then we had to leave at nine and I also woke up at um, like six o'clock with um, one of the worst bloody noses in my life I get them very frequently so but it just takes a little while to adjust if you just stick my hand out Cute. Okay guys, so it has been a couple hours, um, everyone's back from the beach, so now I'm about to go to dinner. And you can see my burn. Like, how does one get a burn on the side of their leg? We're about to go crabbing, I just got home from dinner. Almost like 9 o'clock too, and so it's kind of dark out, so I don't know how well the crabbing thing will go. If don't end up getting any footage, then, um, so I'll just do it like tomorrow maybe like in the morning you still can't see anything well i just turned on the light and <laughs> nothing's happening it's not getting any lighter you can't even see oshi oshi's over there there's my feet there we go hi hi thank you for the night <laughs> well i got an ice cream so i guess we'll be back tomorrow morning before people start to get there so I can go crabbing. So, stay tuned, I guess. It's like 8 in the morning. I was up at like 7.30 and I got another bloody nose. Bloody nose is a lot, so like that's nothing new for me. So I keep sneezing and my nose is really runny and my eyes get itchy. And um, I figured out it's my fur allergy to that dog that I showed earlier named Oshi. And that's why like I don't really get many furry animals. I'm about to go down to the beach to go um, crabbing for you guys. <laughs> I found the 
first crab of the day if it didn't escape me. It was a little bit. Okay, here's the first little crab of the day. Um, this is looking like it is an Asian shore crab. I'm not 100% sure, but it's just a baby. Um, pretty much Asian shore crabs are invasive species here, and so that means they were brought over by humans, or they transported themselves here by like ship or something. And so yeah, put that rock back over him and we should be good. And we have our next. This one is a just green crab, I'm pretty sure. This is also an invasive species here. Um, they can be in any color range. So, yeah, this is also kind of like a little baby. Um, yeah. You can see him there. And we're going to put his rock right back over him so he's all good. Also another green crab, which I just lifted up under a rock. <laughs> there he is. You can see him just crawling along. We're going to put him back in the water. See, this is pretty much every rock I've lifted up so far has had a little crab under it. You can see him over there. Just crawling away. Ow. Right here, I'm pretty sure this is an Asian shore crab. He is holding on to me by pinching me. It doesn't really hurt, but Ooh. Is this guy I'm pretty sure this guy is dead, but this is pretty much um, an Asian shore crab as well. Um, this is what they pretty much look like. Some are green, this is usually what they look like, but most are green that you see. Pretty sure I just spotted another one if it's not dead. Yeah, it is dead. Okay, that was just another green crab. I'm not sure what this kind this is. This could be an Asian shore crab. Mm, you buddy. Okay. It has really cool patterning on it. And it's got a little bit of red. Just gonna dig himself up. I think we'll go to that little tide pool part right there. This isn't a tide pool, but that's what I'm just gonna call it for now. A lot of snails all throughout. And a lot of barnacles, which hurt when you step on them. <laughs> okay, this is much bigger than the other ones we've had. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a green crab. Not entirely sure. If you guys wanna correct me on some of these if I get them wrong, then let me know. But this is a cool one. This one has cool patterns. Yeah, I'll put them back to scurry off. Ooh, crab. This one also has really cool pattern on it. A lot of these have really cool pattern on it. What I'm noticing is like there's no two crabs alike. Ooh, crab. Oh, I lost them. But that was an Asian banded shore crab. I don't know if you saw them. But Asian banded shore crab, um, I mean, that's what they should be called, but they're not. Because they have little bands. Oh, look at this tiny little baby. So cute. I'll just put him back in. Put a rock over him, and he's good. You're flipping rocks and stuff. Make sure to put them back over because. If you want to come back here and ever find more crabs, then they have to have at least like hiding spaces that they can do so. Even if it's not like flipped the same way that it was, at least it's like flipped over. Because like, you know, they still need a home. They're just like us. I don't know if you guys call crabbing different. Well, I was just editing that video, and I'm honestly kind of mad that I missed that crab because that was such a cool looking crab. Did you guys see that? It was white and it had red on it, and that was like such a weird looking crab. And so, if you guys like missed that, then go back and like pause and look at it because that was such a cool crab, and I don't even know how I missed that. I don't even know if you guys do it or this is just a thing that everyone does at Maine, but this is always what we've called it. There's one. Cool, little buddy. We got a biggish one right here. This guy. Pretty sure he's a green crab. Not really sure. But he's pretty cool looking. There's a little rock. There we go. You also have to make sure when you're putting rocks back to not drag the rocks or like when you're picking it up not to drag them 
because if there is anything under it, um, you see, you could squish the crab. And if you're ever going crabbing, there's like a highly likely chance that you'll find a dead crab and it's from being like squished or whatever. Usually they'll like just not move. Usually you'll find them under like rocks and stuff because people either step on the rocks. That's why you also shouldn't step on rocks that are wobbly because that gives harm to you and to and the little dude underneath. Wow, I'm sitting on barnacles. Ugh. Ooh, this guy's got big pinchers. Okay, there's this guy. This guy's a pretty big guy. He is an Asian um, shore crab as well. And he's a pretty big one. Oh, and he's gone. Usually I have two hands to do this, but I don't at the moment because there you can see him. He's right there. This video is probably gonna go up while I'm still here. So let me know if you guys want me to do another part in one of my vlogs of me going crabbing. So yeah, and I'll probably come back next week. So, so if by the time I read your comments and you guys want me to do that, then I will do that. Seen them? Like that. Do you see that guy right there? That's a crab that got smushed. But this guy isn't. This is a perfectly good, healthy green crab, I'm guessing. I don't know. He's got a few bandings on him. But there you go. It's gonna scurry off. I'm gonna find a new one. I didn't even lift the rock and I saw this little guy. So we'll put him back in the water. All right, and let's continue to lift this rock up. All right, and there's nothing else. It's just that little guy. Ow. Okay, we have a big Asian shark crab and he pinched me a little bit. I don't know if this is focusing. I'll put him back in the water because he hurts. The other side of the beach down... Why is it my camera focused? All the way down there, there's more rocks, but you never really find crabs down there. And that's where I went yesterday and that's why I didn't really film. Because we literally found one crab and it wasn't even me who found it. I don't know if we just caught this guy, but that guy is pretty cool. He's also, he's also a short crab. But I'm not sure if we just picked him up. It might have been the same crab. But you guys will have to let me know or I'll figure it out when I'm filming. There he goes. He's just gonna cuddle up into this little rock. Why can't my camera focus? Is it because my hand's wet? I'll put him on this rock. That's a little baby. Asian. Short crab. If my camera will focus, he just went down there. I see him. Okay. Well, that has been a segment I like to call Crabbing with Taylor. I'm sweating, and I don't even know if you can see me right now. But it's hot. Oh, I almost got. Oh my god. I almost got my flip flops here. Ugh. If you guys enjoyed this video or these types of videos, I will do more of them. Um, I know this was a long awaited video because I started off the vlog and I was like, I'm gonna go. And then I woke up the next morning and went because I was just like, ugh. So, yeah. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for more videos. Um, I have been Taylor if you're new here. Um, also, tell me if you guys like these types of vlogs. Um, there's probably gonna be a few more going up about this trip. So yeah, thank you guys so much for 940 something because we're almost at a thousand and um, yeah, there's people walking by me. <sighs> I love you guys all so much. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you guys stay tuned next time I upload. Bye!